Action Night TV joined by manager Steve Cunningham after the 2 0 defeat in the fourth round of the Emirates FA Cup at Kidderminster. Steve, fourth qualifying round for the first time in five years, but unlucky and unfortunate after a great display to fall at the final hurdle. Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm hurt by that one. I'm upset for the players, the club, the staff, the volunteers, the supporters, the families of the players. I thought we. We really did give ourselves a real good account of ourselves today. We're proud. Uh, we came to a national league team and for large parts of that game, we were the better team. And I hope they don't think I'm being disrespectful when I say that. But the first half, we, we, I thought we popped them off the park. Uh, they were very direct. We knew they would be. That's what they're good at at the moment. That's where they've got the wins from of late. Uh, but we've come to their place in front of a, a great crowd uh, who've respected us as well with the, the applause at the end of the game. Uh, but I think we've we've shown how good we can be, and uh, yeah, I'm immensely proud. It's just a shame that we've come off the back of a couple of decisions, maybe that could have gone our way. Um, but in the main, you know, their qualities then shone through, and uh, they've scored the two goals in the second half later on. And you know, fair play to them; they, they've took their two chances that they got. And uh, we do wish them all the very best uh, in the next round of the league. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for the, the management team here. I, I've got on with them. And yeah, obviously. Um... You, you mentioned the the decisions that didn't go against us. Obviously, Sean Newton having a goal not given, which from independent adjudicator has nothing to do with the Robins. Same was over was about three yards over the line, and then in the build up to their first goal, throwing taken from a good three four yards on the pitch. You, you just can't account for those sort of errors in, in in judgment from the officials. Yeah, there was a couple of strange ones. I mean, we've tried to take a throw in while they've got a player off the pitch and the line has stood in front of him and won't let him take it. And yet the referee's saying, get on with the game. And yet he's stood in front of him and won't let him take it. So some strange decisions. Um, the goal, I'd have to look back because from where we are, we can't say that, but other people did say it gone over the line. At 1-0, we're, we're in the ascendancy there. Uh, and just the, before the, half time, of course. Yeah, I just think that, that sometimes look goes for you, it goes against you. It didn't go for us today, but um, I thought we still equipped ourselves. Even when we went 2 0 down, we still tried to play. We didn't we didn't um, show what we've done in other previous games when we've gone behind and then two goals. Could have easily been 3 4 5 in the end because you're thinking, oh, just down to us. But the lads were amazing. Honestly, I'm so proud of them. I really am. You've got to say that the 13 that were on the pitch this afternoon and the 121 that made the trips down from, from Ashton. They were singing from, from quarter to three up until about ten past five when the last Robins player, which was Sean Newton, left the pitch. Yeah, I just think it shows how far we've come as a football club. I mean, you've got uh, the chairmans and obviously Jonathan's back home at the moment as well, so it's nice that he can see how far we've come under our stewardship as well since he's given me the job. Uh, and when you've got your chairman and, and his son, who are the co-chairman and their partners and, and you know the, 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 the daughter and so on, as a family, they can watch on with uh, pride today. Um, with what you know, they're the chairmen and the custodians of the football club, and they can be immensely proud that they've come to a national league team in front of a, a packed house and, and watch their team being the better team for large parts. But then our supporters, you know, what a, an amazing uh, return of support. Um, I think if you look at um, the crowd today, we, we kept them very quiet for large parts. It was only when they scored and they came alive, and that happens, but our crowd singing all the way through. Uh, and I, I just want to say a big thank you to every one of them, especially the young kids who are coming all this way. Uh, there's two or three of them now, I'm seeing them at every game. And if, they've, if, they've, if there's ever a, po a positive, uh, that is massive for us. Because sometimes you don't win things and you don't win leagues and cups. But if you can see a little supporter travelling all the way from Ashton, and the words he said to us was when he was walking on, I love Ashton. That means more to me than anything. So, yeah, I hope we've all had a good day. I hope they have a safe trip home. Um, but what we'll do is we'll lick our lips and listen, it's been a great journey. We've put some money in the bank. I can now ask the chairman for a little bit more. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, But we've got to make sure that we, we switch on now to the league campaign on Tuesday. That's the biggest game of the season for us now. Uh, it's the next one, Matlock. Um, there's been some results for us that have gone our way. So, yeah, we've got to, if, listen, if we can uh, produce the performance that we've done today for maybe 27 uh, or 26 of the 32 games we've got left we're going to be uh, fighting for a promotion this year and, and ultimately that's our priority so we've enjoyed the ride it's a shame that 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 history just hasn't been broken but there's always another year to go after that but it's all about the promotion so we'll uh, we'll go again on tuesday